everyone. We're just going to wait a few minutes um, before we get started to let everyone join. Um, so hang tight. Hi everyone, we're still waiting for people to join. Um, we've, or we've still got people joining rather. So um, we're just gonna wait a couple more minutes before we get started. Uh, if you can hear me, there is a um, chat module on your GoToWebinar panel. If you could let me know that you can hear me, um, maybe let me know your favorite restaurant in Cincinnati or the name of your pet, um, then that would be really helpful. Perfect. Thank you all so much. Um, we have a lot to go through today, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I first want to just say welcome. Um, we're really excited to have you all uh, joining the Cincinnati Gives Challenge here on Mighty Cause. Um, so my name is Dawn, and um, I'm going to be walking you through today's presentation. Um, Ivy will be joining us, um, I believe. So whenever she hops in. Hear me? Oh, perfect. Hi, Ivy. I'm here. <laughs> I didn't know if I got uh, if I got it to work right. It couldn't uh, open on my computer, but I can hear all of you, so I can join in that way. Perfect. Um, well, that's that's perfect. As long as we can hear you, it's great. Um, so Ivy's here too. Um, she she has a couple slides that she's going to be going through. Can you see the slides, Ivy? 
I can pull up from when you sent it to me before, so we'll be good. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so um, so Ivy, um, welcome. Uh, Ivy's the publisher um, over at Cincinnati Magazine. Um, they're putting together um, the this year's Guide to Giving and the Cincinnati Challenge, uh, the Cincinnati Gives Challenge. Um, so again, um, she'll be going over a couple slides a little later in the presentation. Um, right now, I just want to go over a few housekeeping items. Um, first, I want to let you all know that the webinar will be recorded. Um, it'll be posted in the toolkit on the Cincinnati Gives Challenge site under the Resources tab once we're done. Um, and then uh, some of you have already done it, but you can uh, use the GoToWebinar questions module to send across any questions that you have during the presentation. Um, and then we're going to get to as many as we can after the webinar. So um, here's a look at today's agenda. Uh, we're going to be going over some of the basics. Uh, we're going to walk through uh, getting started, uh, basically registering and then navigating your nonprofit page on Mighty Cause. Um, and then after that, we're going to go over the prizes available. Uh, and then we're going to move into a Q&A session um, if we have time. Um, so again, if you have a question while I'm presenting, just uh, be sure to type it into the questions box of the GoToWebinar panel, um, and we'll make sure to cover it at the end. Um, if we do run out of time today, um, then I'm going to make sure to email everyone so that we get all of our questions answered. Uh, and then, of course, if there's a running theme with questions that we don't get to today, then I'll be sure to add um, to the FAQ on the challenge page so that all of you have access to the answers. So let's get started with the Cincinnati Gives Challenge Basics. Um, Ivy, take it away. Okay. Well, I just wanted to, again, thank everyone for joining the webinar and thank John and her team at Mighty Cause. We are super excited to be partnering with Mighty Cause as our platform provider this year for the Cincinnati Gives Challenge. Many of you know we started uh, the Cincinnati Gives initiative in 2016, and we have been publishing the Guide to Giving since then and have uh, worked to uh, promote the challenge and execute the challenge since 2016. And in that time, we've worked with, on average, 100 nonprofits every single year, and we have raised over $750,000 for local nonprofits. So we're thrilled to be back again this year for our fourth year. We're so happy to have P&G on board again as our presenting sponsor and providing the $35,000 in prize money that hopefully all of you will be comp competing to win and uh, able to win some of that prize money. So um, I hope this slide is up right now with our uh, Guide to Giving cover with the elephant from last year. Yep. We really, uh, great, thanks, John. We, uh, we started Cincinnati Gives a couple years ago because at the magazine we wanted to create an opportunity to connect our readers with the nonprofit community and the nonprofit community with our readers in a meaningful way. We wanted to create a platform that brought all of you a ton of awareness and hopefully in turn new donors and, um, and dollars raised. So when we looked at launching the Gives Challenge, uh, we thought it would be best to complement it with a guide to giving to really help educate our readers who have a staggering um, capacity for giving um, to the tune of on average over a hundred million dollars a year to local nonprofits. We wanted to provide an opportunity for them year round to learn about local nonprofits, learn um, about maybe some that they're not familiar with, hear your about your mission and ways to get involved. And that's why we we thought it best to complement the challenge, which is more of a call to action with an education piece that our readers can utilize year round as a resource. So the, the Cincinnati Gives initiative is really twofold. It's the challenge, which all of you will learn um, more about in today's webinar, and it's also the Guide to Giving. So I just wanted to take a few moments to talk about the Guide to Giving because that is an additional opportunity for all of you and those of you that participate 
and both the guide to giving and the challenge really get the full benefit of the entire program. So Don, if you want to go to the next slide, the advertising opportunity for all of you, which is not required if you want to participate in the challenge, uh, you, can, you can just do the challenge without advertising in the publication. But if you choose to advertise in the publication, this is your advertising opportunity. It's a full page profile opposite a full page ad. And I know it's probably hard to, to see the example. You can find more information and also see last year's digital edition on CincinnatiGives.org. It's live right now. But your full page profile, which we help put together for you, includes your mission, key services, leadership directory and board, um, obviously any upcoming events and opportunities for folks to get involved, as well as your contact information and a photo or two. And if you are participating in the challenge, we also include along the bottom your unique URL so readers can read about you in the publication and then go directly to your page within the challenge site and donate directly to you. Also during the challenge, we include a ton of social media promotion since many magazine is really, we really scream it from the rooftops um, to let, let people know that the challenge is live and the opportunity to donate uh, is happening right now. And so that does include a ton of social media across all of our social platforms. And as added value for those that do participate in the publication, we also include at least one of our social posts dedicated to talking specifically about you and your mission and why donors should support you with a direct link again to your individual page on the challenge site. So the cost for this, if you decide that you, you want to take advantage of it, is $3,700. And that includes, again, the full page profile and the full page ad in the guide to giving, as well as the social post and the URL link. And then something new that we are adding uh, this year is a bonus full page ad that you can run in 2020 in a Cincinnati Magazine issue of your choice. We wanted to create an opportunity for you to then follow up uh, to our readers and be able to promote maybe your major event or, or fundraising effort or gala or 5K run that's happening in 2020. So you can pick which issue of Cincinnati Magazine that you want to utilize that free full page ad. And the Guide to Giving publication comes out right before Thanksgiving. We polybag it, uh, we include it with our December Best of the City issue of Cincinnati Magazine. Then we provide um, additional copies at no cost to, to all of those nonprofits that participate in the publication. And then we also distribute it at Light Up the Square at Fountain Square uh, through PNG. So that is the advertising opportunity. If you are interested, uh, you can email me directly or jump on the Cincinnati Gives website and you can find ways to, to connect with us there. We are reserving space now. Um, we have a soft deadline of this Friday to reserve space so we can begin working on the profiles. But if you need a little bit more time, we can definitely work with you. And we also get questions about when payment is due. Uh, we invoice when the issue comes out so that you'll likely receive the invoice in December. And we are flexible uh, based on budgets. If it makes more sense for you to be invoiced in January of 2020 versus in 2019, we can do that. We are working with a particular nonprofit um, that we just, uh, we just solidified today, actually. They want 50% invoice this year and 50% next year, so we can definitely get creative uh, if that helps. We, we would love to have as many nonprofits participate in the publication as they can um, to, to reach our readers and uh, promote your nonprofit, especially at year end, but throughout the year with the publication. 
So that is all I have, John, um, and I'm definitely happy to answer any questions at the end of the presentation. Perfect. Thanks, Ivy. Okay. Um, so a few of the challenge basics, because um, I'm, so for my part, I'm going to be talking about um, the online challenge and then um, all about uh, the tools that you get with Mighty Cause. Um, and just for a little background, Mighty Cause has been around since um, 2006, and we do a lot of these sort of um, online giving events. Um, so there's lots of tools that come with your account um, that you'll get for the challenge. So uh, we'll talk through the challenge basics, um, like I said, for the agenda, and then we'll run through all of the tools you'll get um, so that you can um, kind of start thinking about your strategy, set up your page, et cetera, um, to get prepared. So um, the 2019 Cincinnati Gives Challenge is a 10 day long event. Um, it runs from December 2nd at 5 p.m. Eastern to December 12th at 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, like Ivy said, it's an online component to Cincinnati Magazine's Guide to Giving. Um, registration for the online challenge closes on November 25th. Um, of course, if you haven't registered yet, um, we highly encourage you to register as soon as possible um, so that you can start really preparing. Um, one of the things I'm really excited about, uh, about, you know, the online challenge is that there's $35,000 in prize money that's available to participating nonprofits, um, and there's lots of opportunities to win, um, and we're going to go into prizes a little bit later on. <clears throat> so how exactly does the fundraising challenge work? Um, a fundraising challenge is a unique campaign um, presented by a host, uh, in this case, Cincinnati Magazine, that allows organizations to compete uh, with other nonprofits to win the prize money. Um, fundraising challenges are an exciting way for you to engage sponsors, uh, community partners, peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, um, and they're a really good opportunity to just spread the word about your organization um, and your mission and really raise funds for your cause. Uh, the limited time frame um, that fundraising challenges uh, give creates a sense of urgency that donors tend to respond to. Um, and then of course the prizes available give you fresh messaging opportunities as well. So what do you need to do to participate? Um, so first and foremost, you know, you'll want to register your organization if you haven't already done so. Um, once you've registered, you can customize your profile on Mighty Cause and really start planning for your campaign. Um, and then just so you all are aware, we're having another training webinar on November 5th that's all about strategy. So if you're not sure where to start or you want some um, good tips on using the new tools that you get with your Mighty Cause account, um, you'll definitely want to make sure you attend the second webinar. Um, you can find the sign up link for that webinar in the toolkit on the Cincinnati Gives Challenge page. Um, so once the challenge has started, then your organization is going to need to promote your campaign so that people know it exists. Um, and then you'll want to invite people involved with your organization to participate um, either as, you know, supporters, match sponsors, peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, etc. Um, and of course, uh, you'll need to raise money. Um, that way you can win some of the awesome prizes that Cincinnati Magazine is providing. So this is the homepage for the Cincinnati Gives Challenge this year. Um, you'll see the URL here on the left. Uh, I would definitely bookmark it. So once the challenge starts, this is where you'll see the leaderboards uh, for the prizes that will indicate what place you're in, um, as well as your bonus challenge standings. Um, so again, you're going to want to bookmark this uh, URL uh, so that you have it when you need it. Um, the Cincinnati Gives Challenge homepage on Mighty Cause also has all the tools that you'll need as well. Um, you'll see the register button is right there at the top. Um, if you haven't registered yet, this is where you can go to do that. Uh, the challenge homepage also has these tabs that you can see in the little visual. Um, those include the rules and prizes, all of the resources like the FAQ, and that's where you can find the toolkit. Um, and then, of course, more information about Cincinnati Magazine's Guide to Giving. So getting started, um, oops. first things first, of course, I've mentioned this multiple times now, you're gonna wanna register. Um, 
So if you have any questions at all pertaining to registration, you can email um, support at mightycause.com and we will be very happy to help you. Um, so to register, you'll first need to log in or sign up and claim your organization on Mighty Cause. Very simple process. Um, it's, it's quick, it's prompt by prompt, so you shouldn't have any problems. Um, and then once you've claimed the organization, you'll unlock the rest of the registration questions and you can fill those out and submit the form. And then once you do register, you'll receive a confirmation message. Um, approval typically happens within um, 24 to 48 hours. Uh, and then once your organization on Mighty Cause is claimed, then you'll, you'll also be able to add administrators to your account. Um, that way, multiple people can access and help uh, run your campaign um, right with their own login. So once you filled out and submitted your registration form, um, you'll need to complete the items on your to-do list. Uh, the list is located on the home screen on your nonprofit profile right under the metrics for the page. Uh, there's five basic items to complete. Um, you'll want to add a background image to your page. Uh, we do provide a gallery of stock or background images if that's helpful for you. Um, you're going to want to upload your logo. Uh, that's going to represent you throughout the Cincinnati Gives Challenge. You're um, going to want to add a story. Uh, that tells visitors to your profile uh, about what your nonprofit organization does. Um, you can build a thank you page to thank donors. And then the last item is setting up electronic fund transfer. Uh, that way you get the money that you raise through direct deposit. Um, and then if you click the links uh, within the to-do list, you'll be taken right to the spots on your profile where you can complete those tasks. So it's really easy for you to be able to complete the list. Um, this is not required, but um, it's a really good starting point if you're not sure where to begin. Um, and then we have noticed that profiles that are filled out um, completely get more donations on Mighty Cause. So I recommend before getting into the weeds of planning the campaign, just take the time to complete the list, really get your page set up. Um, and then again, if you need help or you're unsure of how to complete any of the items, then let us know. Um, our email is support at mightycause.com. We also have a support library. Um, at support.mightycause.com, um, where we have walkthroughs and videos that can help you out. Um, and then really quick to run through some of the items on your dashboard. Um, your dashboard, which we like to call your Mighty Cause Manager, is that admin bar um, that appears on the left side of the screen when you're logged in uh, to your nonprofit's profile. Um, you'll see that in the visual there. If you hover over it, it'll um, open up. Um, you'll automatically land on your welcome screen or your home screen, which is uh, the first item, the little house. Um, that's where you'll find your to-do list as well as metrics for your nonprofit. Um, under profile is where uh, you can find your page editor. You can adjust your settings. Um, that's where you can set your goal for the challenge and enable a progress bar on your page. Um, from your profile, you can also go to your live view to see how your page will look to visitors. Um, that way you don't have to log out of your account in order to, to do that. Um, and then below that on your dashboard is the report section. And that's where you'll find everything related to uh, reports and donation management. Um, you'll be able to preview and export your donation report and you can view and manage your disbursements as well. Um, so part of your to-do list is setting up EFT um, and that's you can do that through the report section. Um, and just so you all know, signing up for EFT allows you to receive your funds faster. It's direct deposit. Um, we, we do provide disbursement by check, but there's a $5 fee for check disbursement. Um, so I highly recommend signing up for EFT. It's free and faster. So um, if you have any questions about fund disbursement, email our support team at support at mightycause.com. Um, and then the second to last item on your um, dashboard view is the fundraising section. Um, this is where you can find uh, donor experience, um, which we're going to talk about later, as well as matching grants, which we're also going to talk about later. Um, and then in the settings, that's where you can manage your URL customization and admin control. So really handy little uh, dashboard list. Um, and then we'll be going into detail for all of these um, throughout the presentation. So first things first is customizing your profile. Um, your profile is the face of your nonprofit for the Cincinnati Gifts Challenge, so you're definitely um, going to want to make sure it looks good and it represents your organization and your mission. 
Um, and then just so you know, your profile link is the link that you'll share with your supporters to ask them to donate to your challenge page. Um, so to share your page, you're, all you have to do is copy and paste the URL into an email or social post or wherever you're advertising the campaign. Um, so as you're going through your to-do list, um, you can customize your profile to match your brand. Um, there's two ways to start customizing. You can click profile um, in your Mighty Cause Manager and choose that page editor from the submenu. Um, this is going to open up everything that you're able to edit. Uh, if you're a list person, that's definitely the way that you can go. Um, it provides a list of everything you can edit. Um, otherwise, if you if you click profile, then little pencil icons appear, and you can do on-page editing, as you can see right there. Uh, it's super easy. Uh, if you click the pencil, then the section opens up for editing, and um, you can click the Save button after that or um, automatically save. So the next item is editing your theme. Um, so the first thing you'll want to do is, is obviously upload your organization's logo. Um, you can use that pencil icon to open up that section for editing. Um, logos need to have a one-to-one -one aspect ratio in order to fit. Uh, and the logos on Mighty Cars are the same aspect ratio as many social media sites. So um, if you use your logo as part of your Facebook or Twitter profiles, then you can use the same logo here as well. Um, you'll want to make sure your logo doesn't clash with your background image, um, which you can see the background image here is a picture of two people sitting on a couch. Um, your background image is going to look best if it's mostly text free. Uh, and then obviously, if it's a strong image that's representative of your nonprofit, um, landscape oriented images for backgrounds work best. Um, we do offer a generic gallery of images to choose from if you don't have an image of your own or if you're having trouble finding an image to use. Um, so changing the theme color, uh, which you'll see in this little um, visual here. So when you click edit theme um, on your profile page, that's where you can edit the background image. Um, you can change the theme color. This is going to give you a consistent color that shows throughout the experience your organization provides supporters. Um, so basically, um, you know, you can use the color gradient there to pick a color. You can put in a hex um, code to pick the exact color for your branding. It's pretty flexible. Um, you can also apply an overlay here to your background image if you want. Um, the about section of your page is your chance to explain to people visiting your profile what your organ what your nonprofit's all about. Um, the text editor is right in that section, so all you have to do is click into it and start writing. Um, you can add media uh, to your story to jazz things up. Um, you can utilize the inline text editor to add links. You can upload images, link to videos from YouTube or Vimeo. Um, it's really nice. They just get embedded straight in your story so people visiting your profile can, can look at them right in that section. Um, you can also add bulleted or numbered lists too. Um, this spot is really where you can go in depth about your work and make that strong appeal to donors, um, you know, telling them why your organization needs their support. Um, and sh obviously show the impact of your work. Uh, and then one really cool piece about this section um, is that you have the ability to add custom tabs. Um, if you have any extra info that you wanna share that doesn't necessarily make sense to put in your story, you can create a custom tab um, to add that information um, to your profile while keeping everything organized and really easy to find. Um, you know, so information, you know, if you have any upcoming events, uh, frequently asked questions, if you want to include information about your staff, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera, you can create up to three custom tabs that you can label um, however you'd like, and then you can fill them with whatever content um, makes your profile page better. So really, really versatile, um, easy to set up. Uh, so we highly recommend using the section to um, make the most impact. Uh, the media gallery, um, there's a media gallery also included on your organization's profile. Um, you know, if you have additional images that you want to, uh, you know, showcase, then this is a great place to do it. Um, you can also connect your organization's Instagram account, um, which imports the pictures you already have there. Uh, you can also connect Facebook, too. So, you know, connecting these accounts not only provides additional content, but then it also lets people coming to your page know that you have those social accounts and then they can easily follow or like you. Um, and then you can also optimize your social share settings um, to within your settings section so that if anyone, um, you know, utilizes 
uh, the share feature, then you have um, information for them already there um, so that they don't have to enter in their own stuff. So really, really versatile. Um, you can add, you know, whatever pictures you want. So, and there's lots of options to choose from with importing to, so it makes it really easy. So then the last sub menu item um, within your profile section is the page settings. Um, this is where you can go to update the metrics that show on your page publicly. So things like uh, showcasing dollars raised, uh, a progress bar if you've inputted a goal, and then it also shows a donor count. And then you can also update the calculation period. So if you if you have fundraised on Mighty Cause before, then updating the calculation period allows you to sort of like reset your page. So donations um, only show from a certain date. Uh, the page settings section is also where you'll be able to find a code if you want to use a widget for your organization's um, website that links to the challenge, um, and you'll be able to find the code here as well. So you'll definitely want to spend some time customizing your profile um, using everything that we just talked about. Basically, what we've seen, the more work you put into it, um, you know, the better it looks, and then um, it, it's more likely to do better during the challenge because you're showing people that you care, this is a priority, and they should make it a priority as well. Um, you know, you can have the best campaign strategy in the world, but, you know, when your profile looks like it hasn't been shown any love, then donors aren't going to think that it's a priority either. So, reports. Um, you can access reports on donations and disbursements in the reports section of your Mighty Cause Manager. Clicking on that section um, is going to give you a submenu where you can choose from all donations, um, a report on recurring donations, um, you know, if your organization has them. Um, it, it also gives you a donor retention report, uh, which will be handy if you, you know, fundraise on Mighty Cause in the future. Um, you can find disbursements and offline donations reports here as well. So your donation report is available to you in real time, and it includes information like the donor name, their email, um, if you've included designations or dedication options um, for them to choose from, that's included in the donation report, uh, the gross and net amount of their donation, as well as any fees associated with their donation. Um, you'll also know what page they donated to, um, as well as lots of it, other information. Um, and then just so you know, if you do need, like if you look at your donation report and there's information missing that your organization needs um, that you know might not be generally what other organizations need, um, there is a spot within the donor experience section, which again, I'll go into later on. Um, you can set uh, additional information to collect during the checkout process so that it shows in your donation report so that you have all the information that you need when downloading that report. Um, for example, you know, if you needed to collect phone numbers um, or addresses from donors, um, then you can do that within the donor experience section so that it shows on your donation report. Um, and then uh, the other important section um, is disbursements. Uh, the disbursement section allows you to see your batch disbursement history. Uh, you can click on a disbursement listing to open up more information about that disbursement, um, like, you know, which donations were included in that report, as well as a summary of the total amount, total associated fees, et cetera. Um, all donations on the site are processed by the Mighty Cause Foundation, which is a donor advised fund. Um, your organization can sign up for electric excuse me, electronic fund transfer. Um, and then, th as I mentioned before, that's the recommended amount um, process just because it's free and you get your money faster than if we send out a check donation. Um, okay, so, and then of course, if you have any questions about donations or disbursements, please uh, feel free to email our support team at support at mightycause.com. Um, the analytics submenu uh, in your report section shows you a lot of really great stats on donations that are made to your organization um, through Mighty Cause. Uh, I would recommend checking out this section a few times during the challenge so that you have a well-rounded view of where your donations are coming from. Um, you know, this information found here can be really helpful. Uh, so, like, if you 
if you know that most people are giving in the $25 to $50 range after looking at your analytics um, in your account, then you know you can think about adjusting your suggested donation amounts um, to try and get people to maybe donate a little more than they might initially. Um, and just so you know, the analytics section is also where you can connect your Google Analytics account if you have one, that way you can get even more metrics. Um, so everything I've shown you so far comes standard with our free plan on Mighty Cause. The Google Analytics account connection is part of our advanced plan. Um, however, uh, since you all are part of the Cincinnati Gives Challenge, um, Mighty Cause is giving everyone access to our advanced plan um, through the length of the challenge so that you get access to all of the features on Mighty Cause for free. Um, so you can utilize everything for free um, and then the the advanced plan is month to month anyway so um you know once the challenge is over if you're not interested in using it anymore then it's you it just turns off so <clears throat> okay so donor experience um the donor experience is probably one of the more important features um that you'll want to focus on when setting up your um, organization's profile page the donor experience section, it gives you a lot of control over the donation process. Um, it allows you to opt into collecting the information you want from donors, just like you know we mentioned previously. Um, you can set up custom suggested donation amounts. You can add descriptions um, to those donation amounts to help tie the amounts to you know, items or services that your nonprofit provides. Um, the donor experience section also allows you to preview the whole checkout process without actually making a test donation. That way you can see what your final process looks like and then use that to edit yourself if needed. So the donor experience um, is also where you're gonna go to set up your thank you page and customize your donation receipt. Um, both of which use the same text editor as that about section on your profile. Um, so you can add text, you can add links, you can add a video or image. Um, you can also add a custom call to action button that tells donors where you'd like them to go next. Um, so, you know, a really cool idea would be like asking them to sign up for your email list right within that um, that thank you page. Um, there, there's just a lot you can do in that donor experience tool to just optimize your campaign and customize the whole checkout process for donors. So I highly recommend um, looking through that section, um, editing and customizing anything that you can. That way your donors get the most customized experience possible. So the fundraising section um, on your Mighty Cause Manager is where you're gonna find the matching grants tool. Um, so I'm sure many of you know, you know, having a matching grant from a donor can go a long way in driving donations. So I just wanna make sure that you're aware of um, the tool that Mighty Cause has specifically um, created for matching grants. Um, the matching grants tool is, is just a really versatile tool that you have a lot of options for how you structure your match. Um, most, ma most matches are, you know, the typical one-to-one, -one, you know, where if someone gives you a certain amount, then that exact amount is matched. But um, with this tool, it's really easy to do two-to-one matches, three-to-one. Um, you can match percentages of each donation. The, the matching tool does all the math for you so that all you have to do is choose how you wanna structure your match and then the tool will basically take it from there. Um, you can also apply a match with a certain number of donations. So um, for instance, if there was a bonus challenge available for you know, let's say the most individual donations to an organization during you know, a week um, or a day, uh, then you know you could say that if you get a hundred donations within the hour, then you'll get an additional one thousand dollars for your nonprofit um, as you know somebody who's matched. So if somebody says you know I want to give you a thousand dollars to help you try and win this bonus challenge, then you can um, set up your match based on how that bonus challenge is set. So make sure that you're getting enough individual donations, or you know make sure you're raising enough, or whatever. However, the bonus challenge is set up, um, you can utilize this tool to to try and um you know in it, like engage your donors to to win some of the prizes available um and then the matching grants tool allows you to post multiple grants at the same time um, and it also lets you post them in sequence that way you can set a bunch of grants to fire one after the other 
Um, so this this tool is small but very robust. Um, it you know it might sound like a lot, but it's super user friendly. You have a lot of options, um, and then you know I would definitely suggest just checking it out, seeing what you can do with it. Um, that way you can start brainstorming. Um, and then of course if you get overwhelmed or you're just not sure where to start, setting it up as a one to one match is definitely the simplest and easiest thing to do. So. Um, a couple additional features I want to tell you about. Um, these two things are also part of our advanced plan, um, but as a reminder, uh, organizations participating in the Cincinnati Gifts Challenge this year are going to get these features for free through the length of the campaign. Um, so the text to give the um, text to give uh, you know section that we have available for you, um, it, it allows you to set up and manage any text to give keywords. Um, that you'd like to utilize for your campaign. Um, a, a keyword is a short word that you want to have your supporters text in order to give. So for example, um, let's say you set up a keyword shoes. You can then tell supporters, you know, um, text shoes to this number um, to donate. And then the text to give, it provides donors the ability to donate directly from a smart device. Um, if they don't have the link handy. So basically what happens is once they text that keyword to the number you give them, it'll give them, it'll automatically send them a donate link and then they can click on that donate link from their smartphone and go right through the donate process um, for your organization. Um, the, the text to give section also gives you stats on how your um, keywords are doing so that you can dig in a bit um, just to see what works for your organization. Oh, just kidding, donation form. Um, so I don't want to forget the donation form. Um, the donation form section is um, where you're going to be able to find the embeddable donation form. Um, this, the embeddable donation form allows you to essentially put the um, donation form for your organization on your organization's personal website. Um, and that way it's more of a seamless donation experience for your donors. Um, they're not going to have to go anywhere else. Uh, to donate, they can donate right from your flow. Um, so that option is there underneath the um, fundraising section, and then you'll see the donation form within that submenu. Um, and then lastly is the settings. Um, if you click settings on your admin bar, um, it opens up another submenu uh, where you can update your organization settings like your URL. Um, this is, you can also manage your electronic fund transfer from here. Um, and then this is a set place where you can update um, your legal information if it's not accurate. Um, Mighty Cause does get all of their uh, nonprofit information directly from the IRS, but if something's off, um, you can still update your legal information so everything is showing correctly. There's uh, information uh, and instructions right in that uh, organization setting um, submenu option. Uh, the settings section is also where you can add or remove admins. Um, and then my favorite part is the integrations. Um, we, Mighty Cause has a lot of integrations that you connect with your account. Um, you can uh, integrate your MailChimp or Constant Contact account um, to your Mighty Cause account. You can integrate Salesforce. Um, there are some really powerful integrations here, and I definitely encourage everyone to check them out to see what you can utilize uh, just to help make your campaign execution easier. Um, integrations are also part of Advanced Plan, but again, you get them for free, so um, please take advantage of them because they're there to help make your life easier. Um, and then um, moving on from the admin bar, um, I, you know, before we get to the prizes and rules and stuff, I want to make sure I mention the really great tools that you can use as you get ready for the challenge, um, and that is your nonprofit toolkit. Uh, the toolkit has tips and tricks, it has FAQs, it has walkthroughs, um, it has templates you can use for email and social media, um, you know, to help you get inspired and really figure out how to promote your campaign. Um, this, this is also where you're going to be able to go to find uh, today's training recording. Um, you'll, you'll be able to get logos and graphics specifically for the Cincinnati Gives Challenge too. Um, you can download those and then start tying them into your messaging. Um, that way you're, um, you know, on, on brand with the Cincinnati Gives Challenge. Uh, so I highly recommend bookmarking the toolkit, um, you know, check it out. Uh, 
if you haven't already, and then please refer to it as many times as needed um, throughout the planning and then throughout the uh, challenge as well. Okay, so now we're gonna move into talking about all of the awesome prizes the Cincinnati Gives Challenge has to offer. Um, so these are probably my most, my most favorite part. Um, prizes are always really fun. So the Cincinnati Gives Challenge um, is offering grand prize grants to the top five organizations on the leaderboard. Um, the leaderboards are gonna be on the live event site. Um, so as soon as the challenge begins, participating organizations will start getting tracked by the dollars they have raised. Um, now it's important to mention that only online donations made through the Mighty Cause platform are gonna count for leaderboard totals. So this is a really big reason why you wanna push your donors to give online. Um, you can definitely record a check that's given to you, but it's just not gonna be reflected um, in your leaderboard totals. Basically, um, the reason for this is because we don't and we really can't verify offline donations, so only online donations count. Um, and then the leaderboard is going to reflect your cumulative total from the time the challenge begins at 5 p.m. on December 2nd. Um, so it's gonna be a running total of everything you've raised online. Um, and then, you know, you're engaging in that friendly competition for those top prizes. So this year um, for the Cincinnati Gives Challenge, we've got um, first place winning $10,000, second place winning six, third place winning $4,000, fourth place winning $2,000, and fifth place winning $1,000. Bonus challenges. So there's a lot of additional prizes available in the form of bonus challenges. Um, as you can see here, there's essentially one running just about every day of the challenge. Um, it's gonna be quick and it's gonna be exciting. Um, the Meet Your Match Challenge, that one does run through the whole campaign um, for Cincinnati Gives. We have a bonus challenge specifically for Giving Tuesday. Um, really, there's just lots of opportunities here to win, um, you know, and. Just so you know, all of these prizes um, and then all of the details associated with them, um, the method of entries, the dates that they run, um, all of those are already under the rules and prizes tab on the challenge page. So um, you can reference them at any time. And, um, you know, if you want to bookmark that page too, uh, you'll be able, you know, when you're creating your strategy, you can go and check out those bonus challenges to see which ones you want to participate in. Um, and then just so everyone is aware, each organization is eligible to win two bonuses and one grand prize. So once you win two bonuses, you're no longer gonna be eligible to win another bonus challenge. So because of this, I highly encourage you to go to that prizes tab um, to see which bonuses you really wanna go after. Um, that way you can start preparing and just keep in mind that once you win two bonuses, um, then that's it. Although you obviously can still win a grand prize. So um, yeah, so just so you know. Um, and then bonus prizes also are gonna have live leaderboards. Um, that way, you know, these live leaderboards are really exciting because you'll be able to see where you stand at any time. Um, and you know, the key to winning those is just getting your donors invested and in helping you climb the leaderboard. These, like I said, these bonuses are gonna be going really fast um, in terms of just, um, you know, we're gonna have one pretty much every day. So uh, people are, you're gonna want your, to engage your donors to help you move up the leaderboard, stay in your spot, let them know where you are um, and just keep an active eye on those. Um, you know, emphasize to them how much is at stake. Um, you know, they, they wanna know what's going on and as long as you keep them informed, then they're, that'll help them stay engaged. Um, and again, all of the information for bonus challenges are on the rules and prizes tab. So make sure you go there to check out and see when all of them are running, how long, um, et cetera. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna be sure to review, review all the rules on the challenge site. Um, that is on the same tab as the prizes. Um, it's at the bottom, um, but here's a few of the ones I really wanted to call out. Um, you have to be a 501c3 organization serving the greater Cincinnati area to participate. Again, participating organizations, you can win one grand prize and two bonus challenges. Um, organizations can't donate to themselves and you have to have at least 10 unique donors to be eligible for a grand prize. Basically 10 different people at least have to donate to you um, in order to be eligible for a grand prize. Um, and then of course, offline donations, cash or check don't count towards prizes. 
so as we wrap this up, I want to make sure um, our support team's contact information is here for you to reference. Um, they are a great resource before and during the challenge for anything campaign related. Um, you know, so if you need to, you need help setting up your EFT, uh, if you need help figuring out how to strategize around a bonus, um, or even if your donor just needs a receipt reset, um, you can reach out to them at any time. Uh, and then really quickly, before we get into the q and I just want to plug the next webinar for the Cincinnati Gifts Challenge. Um, it's November 5th at 3 p.m. Eastern. The second webinar is going to be all about strategy. Um, so now we know what the prizes are. We know where to find them. So the next webinar is going to talk all about strategy and, the, and what you can do to use the tools in your Mighty Cause account um, and tools that you're already using to really um, strategize around winning those prizes. Um, you can sign up for the webinar now. Um, just go to the toolkit uh, on, you know, CincinnatiGives.org and the button to register for the next webinar is already there and live. Um, so let's see, before we jump into questions, um, Ivy, do you have anything additional? No, I think you covered it. I'm just, um, I'm here if anyone has, has any questions, and I know um, there probably are quite a few. And uh, I know, Dawn, you're, you're available. So that was really great. Thank you so much, Dawn, for, for taking this all through it. Yeah, no problem. Um, there's actually, I don't, let me look really quick. It doesn't look like there's any questions, which I feel very accomplished that I presented everything in such a complete way that no one has any questions, which is wonderful. And I don't think has ever happened to me. So thank you everyone for making me feel really good. Um, so well, if, if anyone has any questions for me at Cincinnati Magazine, you can uh, reach out to me directly. And my phone number is 513-562-2787. You can also email me. My email address is on the website. You can also reach me at ibayer, which is I-B-A-Y-E-R, at CincinnatiMagazine.com. So happy to answer any questions. Our team is also happy to work with any of you one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, super passionate about the challenge and the publication. So if uh, you want to dive in deeper and work with someone on our team, we're happy to help. Awesome. Um, if anyone does think of any questions once we close the webinar, um, again, the Mighty Cause support email is support at mightycause.com. Um, you're welcome to send in whatever questions that you have um, as they come up, and we will be here to help you. Um, but other than that, we're very, very excited that you're participating. Mighty Cause is super excited to partner with Cincinnati Magazine in order to um, help host this year's challenge. And we just want to wish everyone good luck. <laughs>